second experiment, equipotential and electric field lines. In this experiment, a carbon paper will be used. There are two conducting regions on the carbon paper. These regions will be treated as two point charges. Connect the conducting regions to the positive and the negative terminals of the power supply. Use a galvanometer to determine points having the same potential. Turn on the power supply and adjust the output. Put one of the probes on a fixed point on the horizontal axis of the paper. Move the other probe on the paper. No deviation on the galvanometer is observed at points having the same potential with the fixed point. Find three points on both sides of the horizontal axis having the same potential with the fixed point. Repeat the procedure for five more fixed points, three on each side of the origin. The curves connecting points having the same potential are equipotential curves. Electric field curves are the curves connecting the charges and intersecting orthogonally with the equipotential curves. Now it is time to observe what happens to these curves in the presence of a conducting ring. For this part, another carbon paper, including a conducting ring, will be used. Only the points around the conducting ring will be examined. Choose a fixed point from around the ring. Put one of the probes on this point and move the other around the ring. Determine the points having the same potential. Draw the equipotential curves by connecting these points and determine the electric field curves accordingly.